Yo, Mr. EDP, uh, this you? <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy XE. welcome back to a brand new video. So EDP445, or eat that 445 has been exposed for being a pedo. And honestly, this is just a really sad sight to see because this is somebody who I would watch when I was younger to, you know, be entertained. And honestly, just somebody who I would go to to, you know, watch and just have a good laugh when I was younger. And to be honest, it just sucks to see somebody who you enjoyed when you were younger, you know, come out with a story or be exposed with a story like this. And just to keep it very basic, it just sucks to see somebody being exposed for this. But let's be honest, guys. Is it really that surprising? I mean, it seems like every single YouTuber and their mother is being exposed for being a pedo. I mean, seriously, when will all of this stop? Like, I seriously don't think it's that hard to, you know, not be a pedo. I mean, of course, I'm still a minor, but bro, I would not go for anybody, you know, a few years younger than me. Like, that's just not right. So before we actually get into what EDP did, just make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe or the predator poachers will show up in your room at 3 a.m. and expose you for being a pedo. I don't think any of you guys really want that happening to you guys, so I think we could both agree that if you leave a like and subscribe that you would be totally Totally 100%, you know, no joke, no scam, 100% uh, safe. Guys, I'm just joking. You don't actually have to leave a like and subscribe. You are not obligated to do so by any means. So what did EDP445 do in the first place? Basically, what happened is the Instagram account known as Predator Poacher 6 went under a fake Instagram account and, you know, catfished EDP himself. They basically said that they wanted to meet up with EDP to, you know, do some uh, questionable things, right? And of course, once EDP was there, he was greeted by the people who ran the Predator Poachers account. So yeah, I actually have a few screenshots here. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at them. I'm gonna make this as family friendly as it can possibly be for obvious reasons. What you doing? I have this questionable thing called a questionable thing and I'm doing questionable things with it. I couldn't help myself. Oh, how does it look? So pretty much I stick my questionable thing inside of here and it's supposed to feel like a questionable thing. I doubt it, but it feels amazing. You lose- Alright man, I'm just gonna go ahead and stop right there. I just have to wonder, what the hell was EDP even thinking, bro? Like, please keep in mind that this person is a minor this is a minor that EDP is talking to. Like, why did he think it was okay to just be like, oh yeah, I have this <laughs> you know, I just completely f out of it. Like, I genuinely want to know what is going through some of these people's heads when they just blatantly say some messed up stuff to a minor like this. Like, seriously, this person is not even out of high school yet. Alright, so this conversation is starting out with the monkey emoji with EDP saying, kiss your daddy goodnight, lol, sleep tight, princess. Dude, what the f- Yo, in my life right now, please just in my life right freaking now. I think that conversation finally did it for me. I mean, off of the screwed up stuff I've seen on the internet, I think that conversation really just topped off me losing my will to live. I mean, seriously, dude, what the hell? Like, actually, just what the hell? I mean, after reading that conversation, I seriously am just considering, like, never coming back to the internet again. That is just such an utterly weird and cringy thing to say to anybody, let alone a minor. I don't know, man, I got a bit worked up over that, but EDP, bro, what, what, what are you doing, bro? You have complete and total power over me. Oh, man, I'm going to enjoy this very much. You make me feel some type of way. Same here, you drive me crazy beyond control. I want you to have my control over me totally abuse me and treat me like the naughty boy i've been edp bro why are you this down bad bro what the hell Ooh, naughty boy kiss me please oh uh, yeah basically the same thing applies for the last conversation it's just terribly cringy and weird and i really don't have anything more to say about that like i guess i can try and understand with somebody when they're like in the moment they're doing stuff in the moment but like bro this person is a minor like i've been in these situations with people my own age like yeah it was in the moment but you can't really excuse you talking to somebody who is this much younger than you like that it's still very very strange all right so i think i'm done reading out those because seriously I don't think my mental health can really take much more of those conversations. So one of EDP's friends actually replied to all of the allegations going towards EDP and said that he would be cutting all ties with EDP 445. So I doubt that this guy did not have a conversation with EDP first before of course blocking all communications with him. I didn't want to just completely clickbait you guys because I'm sure there's something that EDP has said within this reply that his friend has made and I think I could safely assume that he has spoken with EDP before of course cutting all ties. But uh uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and take a look at this. What's going on guys? Coming at you with another video here. As you can see from the title down below, um, I have cut ties with EDP 445. Uh, I, I'm just as shocked as you guys are. Uh, trust me, like all what went on, all what happened, I'm, I'm shocked. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. I, I really don't, but I, what I do know is I just cannot be affiliate and associate with someone doing those type of things. You know, it's just, 
It's just not me. I'm sure we can all respect that because seriously, if one of my friends was to do something like that, one of my good friends was to do something like that, for my own reputation and for just my own well-being, I would probably cut ties as well. This sort of goes back to the Call Me Carson situation because, you know, his friends sort of gave up on him, but I don't really think this compares to the Call Me Carson situation, mainly for the fact that with the Carson situation, 17 to 19 is not a very big age gap. But as for EDP, bro, EDP is 30 years old. Like, talking to a minor, that's really no excuse. Excuse. Like maybe as a friend of Call Me Carson, I try and consider the two year age gap as not that big of an age gap. But saying EDP situation where it's like a 10 to 15 year age gap, I mean, that's just insane. And I totally think that it's justified that his friend is cutting all ties with him. But I mean, let's be honest, who really want to do that either? Because seriously, you have to focus on yourself and make sure that you will be okay if you help out this person. And I really think that's what Philip understood when he realized what was going on within this entire situation. So honestly, just big props to him for being this mature in this kind of a situation. Situation. You know, of course, just not completely shitting on his best friend who he's been best friends with for a few years now, but also just being very easy and saying that he's cutting all ties for his own sake. Um, just sucks that after, you know, so many years of being a friendship, it has to come to an end like that. But, uh, but for you guys, I mean, I just want to thank you guys for, you know, being fans of me. I, I, for who I am, I really appreciate that. And I'll, I'll still post videos. Yeah, just while went on you know i just cannot be affiliated with someone like that and i i i hope you guys know that uh i'm not that type of person and all uh to be affiliated with something like that um and the one thing i can say is uh you know to you guys and to anyone that i always give advice to i mean i'm i'm 28 uh and obviously you know to a lot of people like that's very young but for me i've been through a good amount of stuff where i could say you know one thing is the one advice i can give is take care of yourself you know take care bro wait 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 is that not exactly what i just said take care of yourself first make sure you're okay um and then you can start helping other people you know um i know you want to help other people people want to do the good thing but sometimes it ends you're the one who ends up in a bad situation so and this is basically where the video ends it basically ends with him saying that you need to focus on yourself which is kind of strange considering i said it literally not even a few seconds before but hey seriously i think that was a pretty solid video that that guy came out with you know just being very mature about the entire situation and of course a situation like this is a very tough one to be put in so i think it handled it very maturely and uh just big props to him for that but yeah guys i think this is where i'm gonna go ahead and end out the video in conclusion guys adp's career is over as we know it and it honestly sucks to see somebody like this who i've watched for so long being exposed for something like this but it's also very serious because i have younger siblings that live in the house with me and to have something like this happen to them is something i would never want to see happen so yeah what i think we could really just take away from this is just you know don't talk to minors and don't do anything that you're not supposed to be doing and of course just make sure you clarify the age of the person that you're meeting up with because there's of course that small chance that adp didn't know but i'm almost certain that he did know and that he was very aware of his actions but uh yeah that's about it if you have not already please be sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video and uh yeah thank you all for watching today i'll catch you all later peace the truth.